In this video, really quickly, we're going to talk about destroying the session. As you can see, the signature for this function is on line 234 or 234. For public function destroy, it's going to accept one parameter called session underscore ID. And then I have this code uh, on the, in the exercise file uh, folder number 14 inside the folder number 4, which is these are the sections. As I said earlier, these are the uh, video numbers. So let's open this destroy.txt and I'm going to uh, copy all of them and then paste it right here as well as uh, indentation to make it a little bit more readable. I have our, my SQL right here. This SQL command is going to delete from the table where this uh, column SID or session ID is equals to placeholder SID, which is we, we're going to create it in a, in a moment on, underneath statement, using a statement. So make sure you have all your SQL commands outside the try and catch. You could see I put uh, some of these SQL uh, inside the try and catch, but it would be you know much better to put it outside the try. But because it's gonna, it's nothing to do with writing. These are just the uh, let's say a string. There's nothing, nothing wrong with your string as as long as you know how to write the SQL commands. But it's not really important. You could maybe put it inside the try. It doesn't really matter. I put it outside this time to see. To make to show you, it's it's going to be the same thing. So uh, for the, for a try and catch, we having our uh, variable stmt or statement. We're going to prepare the SQL, which is on the top, and then we're going to bind pram using this placeholder SID and using this session ID. So get the session ID and then assign it to this. So whatever you're going to put it here, this is probably going to be something really difficult. As you might have noticed, this is SID, not ID. And uh, in the SQL uh, commands, uh, I didn't use auto increment and I didn't even use integer. This is, could be probably something like this. You don't even know, but this could be a char. And then we're gonna execute it as well as we're gonna use catch and that's it. So that's all you need to know about destroying the session in this video.